today I'm talking to you about avoiding overdraft. Yes, that is a touchy topic, especially since we just overdrafted. What? Oh. Mic drop. So it happens to everyone. It's not something that we should be ashamed of, but it is something that we would like to fix and avoid if possible. You know, life just catches you off guard. And Andrew and I are no different. I mean, no matter how hard I try, I'm not going to be perfect in the financial scenario as much as I would like to be. Now, is that an excuse to just slough off and let your finances go? No, man. So, what happened was, we thought a bill was coming out on the 18th. Well, we get paid on the 15th, so we thought we were in the clear. However, this bill, what do you call that? I don't know. Will that make it to the video? Who knows? So this bill decided to come out on the 15th instead of the 18th. Well, it happened to come out six hours before we actually got paid. So unfortunately, our bank account was not prepared to handle that expense. Boo-hoo. So yes, we get slapped with a $35 overdraft fee. My day is ruined. No, I'm just kidding. When I realized what happened, that the bill came out actually before it was supposed to, I was kind of mad. But then I got over it and I tried to figure out, okay, how can I avoid this from happening again? Well, here's what I came up with. I decided that right after we get paid on the 1st and the 15th, I'm going to deduct all of my bills that are due within that two week time span for each paycheck. So any bill that comes out between the 1st and the 15th, I'm going to automatically deduct that right after I input my deposit. Is that making sense yet? I don't know. Alright, so let's just pretend that today is February 15th. That is the day that we made our first deposit into our checking account for $755. But at the same time that I make my deposit into my register, I also go ahead and deduct my internet, cell phone, electricity, and car note out of that deposit. So now I'm left with a balance of $102. And you'll notice that I have the dates they actually come out assigned to each bill. For instance, the internet comes out on the 20th, the cell phone comes out on the 20th, the electricity comes out on the 22nd, and the car note comes out on the 28th. So that lets me know for the next two weeks or however long your pay period is, it lets me know that I have $102 to spend on necessities like food and gas to get to work. So just as a side note, since the bill that overdrafted us came out on the 15th instead of coming out on the 18th when it was supposed to, I say go ahead and deduct any bills that are on the fence like that before your next paycheck. That way you know exactly where you stand if in fact that bill does come out early like it did for us. Who wants to be blindsided with an overdraft fee that you're totally not expecting? In my opinion, still not my fault. Because you're inputting checks and bills that have not come out yet, your register is going to show a much lower balance than what your bank account says. This is why I said in the previous video, don't rely on daily balances because they're not ever going to match up. Ever. And I mean ever. At least that's the way it is for me, and it's only logical. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, I'm not really sure how this happens, but at the end of every paycheck, right before we get paid, we always seem to have extra money in the bank account that's not accounted for. I've been put everything in my check register, everything's cleared the bank, but yet the bank always has more money than what I have in my check register, which I'm okay with. Hey, if the bank has more money than I have, then that means we will never overdraft, right? Makes sense. Makes sense to me. Yeah, yeah. Since your register is showing a much lower balance than your bank account, automatically it makes you not want to spend money. It keeps you from spending money that isn't really there. It's called. And best of all, it makes sure that all of your bills get paid. I am all for making sure my bills get paid. Oh yes. All about that. Yes I am. Oh yeah. For instance, our bank account says that right now we have $422.56 to use at High Leisure. However, would you like to see how much my register says that we have? Yes, let's do it. $1.16. Yes, that is correct. 
Far Cry from $422.56. So now you see what I'm talking about, don't you? Don't you? You remember that part where I said that that lower balance in your register will help you not spend money that isn't really there? Do you think I'm gonna be spending any more money with a dollar and 16 cents in my check register? I don't think so. I'm not touching my debit card with a 10 foot pole. Oh no, I'm not. Okay guys, so in essence, I'm just just telling you keep track of your bills however that works for you it's just a tip that I use and it seems to help I mean I'm not a mogul I'm not a guru this is just a hobby so no hate mail please okay guys I love you so much y'all watch again next week we'll see you later bye